new creation call to purpose. I'm reading from Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good. To them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Purpose, both the Hebrew and the Greek, you can see it is deliberate intention or intent. I've decided this is my will. Yeah. It can be spiritual. It can be physical. There are spiritual purposes. And there are physical purposes. So I'll deal with both of them. If you don't know your physical purposes. When you wake up you will not know your direction. If you decided to leave your home to go out and you don't know where you are going, how will you reach your destination? You move from your house without a purpose. So who also has, he said, those who love him, all things work together for good. For them that love him. Yes. If you love the Lord. You will love the church. Yes. If you love the Lord. You will love the things of God. Yes. If you love the Lord. You will love the people of the church. Yes. If you love the Lord. You will love Bible studies. Yes. If you love the Lord, you will love evangelism. If you love the Lord, you will love prayer services. If you love the Lord, you will love your neighbor. If you love the Lord, you will snatch people from hell to life. Do you love the Lord? And if you love him, all things work together for good for them that love him. Another side of purpose it's a purpose of God. Physical purpose can decide to thwart your vision. But whatever God has purpose in his heart, nobody can thwart it. And every intent of the Lord concerning your calling, concerning your ministry, nobody can change it. These are the words from the man of God himself. And when they intended to kill him and destroy his ministry. In Acts of Apostle 11, 23, before I'll come to the main team. He said, when he came and he saw the grace of God, he was glad and exhorted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. When he saw the giftings in the church, when he saw the presence of the Lord, when he realized they are doing something good, he knows tribulation will come, trials will come, pain will come, but he advised them they should stay fast to their love. To what purpose are you here and call for? Are you called for yourself? Are you called to turn the cities upside down? Are you called to break every yoke from the enemy? And the main theme of your year, the new beginning. Those who are in Christ, after you love him, no. When he first love you, not you love him, he first love you and lay his life for you. Now he has given you ability to be a new creation. All things have passed away. Yeah. Who dare you? The devil is a bad boy. Yeah. He can put bad guilt boy. and you know sometimes when you are worshipping the Lord, say, see your hand. These hands are worshipping the Lord. But the Lord said he has sanctified you. Yeah. Justify you. Yes. Redeem you. Yes. 
Oh, can I get justification in the house? Can I get people who are justified and sanctified? It doesn't matter the confession the devil has on your life. You are a new creation. The other side, see how he put it. New creation in the wisdom of Christ. Not in your own wisdom. New creation in the wisdom of Christ. The things you do, you do it in the wisdom of Christ. And he read in 1 Corinthians 1.30, he said, But of him, ye are in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom. Oh. Can I get wisdom people here? Yeah. It is not by your own wisdom. Christ has made you wise. Oh, can I get that confession? You are wise. You are wise in Christ. You are wise in Christ. Oh, you didn't hear me. You are wise in Christ. Can I get church here? I said, you are wise in Christ. You don't hear it. You see, you see, see, see. Personalize the test. He said, but of him, ye are in Christ Jesus. Who of God is made unto us wisdom. So there are three points there that I would love to talk about. The wisdom part. Things you don't have revelation for. The Lord will give you revelation. This is the new beginning. Hey, hey, hey. Things you don't know how to handle it. The Lord will let you handle it. Things your ability and your mind cannot do. The wisdom of God will let you do it. Where the wisdom of God will catapult you, no man can stop you. Today, may I prophesy to your life. May I prophesy to your life. Invention and revelation is coming from you. May the Lord bless you with the wisdom of Christ. And not only that, those who love the Lord, all things, not some things, all Socially, all. Physically, all. Mentally, all. Spiritually, all. All things work together for good. For them that love the Lord. And this morning, because you have loved the Lord, all things will work together for good. Oh, I say, all things will work together for good. It doesn't matter how you feel. It will work together for good. It doesn't matter how you see it. It will work together for good. Not only that, after you get the wisdom, he gave you righteousness. Who dared the devil? Who dared that small boy? Who is remembering your past? Who is telling you you are not righteous? Hey, your righteousness is coming through Christ. Because Christ is righteous, you are righteous. Oh, don't let the old time religion hold you down. You are set free by the power of the Holy Ghost. That makes you righteous. Right, I'm righteous. I'm righteous. Can I see that confession? Everybody confesses, I'm righteous. I'm righteous. I'm righteous. Hey, there was a guy who happens to be in our church. He just joined the church like a few months ago. And these are the confession. When I gave this revelation, he just told, he came to my office and said, Pastor, let me share this thing with you. I'm, I'm bound when I wasn't a Christian. And when I came into the church, even being baptized, I was still bound. Until I hear that you said our righteousness is coming from Christ. So I start confessing. I'm righteous. I'm righteous. I'm righteous. I'm righteous. So pornography for 10 years. That nobody can break. By the power of confession. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power that shuttle everything. Now is free forever. Maybe yours may not be that. Everything you think the devil is telling you, you are guilt. Christ is telling you, you are righteous. That does not mean, that does not mean you don't fall to sin. You may fall to sin, but the righteous of God is like you have a baby. The baby is trying to walk. He put one step, he falls down. Second step, he falls down. Is that baby still not your baby? Oh, can I get church? So when I see once, twice, will God call me not a son or a daughter? 
I moved another step. Fell down. The another one fell down. The time you realize, you will see this young girl jumping in church. But then when he started learning how to walk, I don't think he started learning how to walk and he didn't fall down once again. And when you come to Christ, sometimes you may be falling down, ups and down. But the glory be to God. He said, those who love the Lord, all things will work together for him. Those who love him. You are righteous. You are righteous. You are righteous. Oh, let me hear you. You are righteous. By the power of the God, you are righteous. You see, the devil will come and say, don't listen to him. You just sing. But what you confess is your procession. He made you righteous. Not that. After making you righteous, he, made, he sanctified you. These are the sanctification that we have. See the confession of the sanctification. It sanctifies you. And I love it so much when you go to Hebrews 2 verse 11. See how he puts it. He says, both he that sanctify and they who are sanctified are all of one. For which causes he, he is not ashamed to call them brethren. So Christ who sanctify you and you being sanctified, you are one. Yes. Oh, church, don't be religious. You don't get it. Yes. Let me read it again. Can, can I read it again? Yes. Hebrews 2, 11. For both. So Christ and you. Yes. He does sanctify. And they who are sanctified are all one. Oh, can I, can I get the revelation? Hello, hello. Hello, you, you, you. Yes. Don't belittle yourself. Hey. You and Christ are one. Yes. You see, the religious man will say, no, no, don't say that. <laughs> the religious man will tell you, no, 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 no. You are living with the boyfriend. Why? But the Bible said, he sanctify you. And he who sanctify you together with himself, both of you are one. My father is a holy God. My father hates sin. My father has sanctified me. I'm now sanctified, justified. I'm righteous. I have his wisdom and I live with him. Me and him, we are one. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am sanctified. Oh, do you hear that? And he's not ashamed. Yeah. Christ is not ashamed that he sanctifies you. But he and you are one. And he moved on from the sanctification. He said, and redemption. On that uh, 1 Corinthians 1.30, the last part, he said, after the sanctification, and redemption. Oh, somebody shall be redeemed. Amen. I'm redeemed by let the let the redeem of the Lord say so. Hey, hey, say so. I said, let the redeem yes. of the Lord say so. Say so. Are you redeemed? Yes. I'm redeemed from curses. Yes. No devil can hold my curses. No devil will give me ancestral curses. No devil will tell me my father didn't make it. I will not make it. I'm redeemed. I'm redeemed by the blood. I'm redeemed by the presence of the Lord. I'm redeemed from ancestral curses. By his blood, I'm healed. By his stripes, I'm healed. Is there anybody being redeemed? I'm redeemed. What, what others could not do in my family? I'm redeemed. I will do it. If they don't cross one level, I will cross ten level. I'm redeemed. If they couldn't make it, I will make it. I'm redeemed. If they are not blessed, I will be blessed. I'm redeemed. If they have curses, I will not have curses. I am redeemed. If they have shame, I will not have shame. I am redeemed. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Say so. Who dare you? That small boy, who is the devil? Who is the bad boy? Bad boy. I've held the church captive. Very bad boy. Yes. He's a bad boy. He will tell you you are not redeemed. Yes. 
Your mother couldn't make it. That is why you couldn't make it. Your father couldn't make it. That is why you couldn't make it. But Christ came here this morning. Is there anybody who came here to hear the good news? Is there anybody who came here because of Christ? Is there anybody who came here because he loved the Lord? And because you love the Lord, all things will work together for good on your behalf. Can I hear you? I'm walking in wisdom. I'm working in wisdom. I'm working in righteousness. I'm working in sanctification. I'm walking in redemption. I am redeemed. Let the, let the, you see, I, I, I wish I have time. I wish I have time. I wish I have time. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. My less are redeemed. I said, my less are redeemed. Can I get everybody your less are my less are redeemed? Hey, 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 hey. You don't know your less. Everywhere you step your your feet are. Ah, the blessings of the Lord. He said he will order your steps into greatness. Can I get great people here? I'm redeemed. Oh, I'm redeemed. Oh. Hey, my hands are redeemed. My hands are redeemed. Let me see your hands. Are you redeemed? Let the, re let the redeem of the Lord say so. Say so. Oh, can, can I get? I said, let the redeem. Listen, listen, listen. Can I get? Have I told you your confession is your procession? Can somebody have a great confession? And that is what you say. The power, life, and death is in the power of the tongue. What you confess yeah. will come upon you. Yeah. If you said you are dead, you will die. Mm. If you said I cannot make it, you will not make it. If you said I'm not righteous, you will not be righteous. If you have righteousness, consciousness in your mind, you are righteous. Yeah. Hey, 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 do you hear what I'm saying? What you confess, you will possess. So that is why let the redeem of the Lord say so. You know, I love I love Psalm 107 verse 2. And this is how it says, both he that sanctify. Both he that sanctify. So not only the one who sanctifies you, both you and Christ. And who they are sanctified. And those who are sanctified are all of one. You move on from there. Oh, Lord. Let the redeem on Psalm 107. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Yeah. Uh, there is a hand that has redeemed you. Hey. And that hand is Christ's hand. Amen. No name. It's above the name of the Lord Jesus. He said, in my name, whatever you ask shall be given unto you. In my name, every knee shall bow. In my name, doors that are closed will be open. In my name, principalities and authorities, they will all bow. In my name, you are redeemed. And I redeem you from the curses of the enemy. In your new creation, in your moment where the Lord has given you a new creation, the old things have passed away. Now there is a new thing. Your confession of the new thing with the wisdom of God, the Lord that loves you and die on the cross for your sake has justified you. Amen. Sanctify you. Amen. Redeem you. Yeah. And that hand that redeem you, nobody can bring that hand down. If Christ redeem, nobody can take it back. Hey. Let me repeat it again. So, the heresies the church is sometimes teaching. Christianity is a lifestyle. Yeah. It's not a religion. Let me repeat it again. Yeah. Let me recap it. I say Christianity is a lifestyle. Yeah. And if your conscience tells you you are a failure, you will fail. 
If your conscience tells you, I cannot do it, you cannot do it. If your conscience tells you, nothing good will come out of you, nothing good will come out of you. These are the confessions. For the fact that you love me, I know there are other deities. I know there are other supreme powers. I know there are challenges and persecution. But because you have loved me, all these challenges will be there. The struggle will be there. The pain will be there. But I, the Lord, in your pain, it will work good. In your shame, it will turn to be a glory. Yeah, yeah. In your failure, yes. I will raise you up and give you the victory. Amen. Because all things will work together for good for them that love the Lord. Amen. You love the Lord and you choose on Sunday morning to be in the presence of the Lord. Ah. He gave you his wisdom. He gave you his righteousness. He gave you his sanctification and justify you. And in the conclusion for the benediction, it redeems you. Ah. Redeems you from every disease. Ah. Redeems you from every blood disease. Ah. Redeems you from things you cannot do. Hallelujah. It redeems you. Hey, somebody is going to get a glory today Amen. because you are redeemed. Yay. You are redeemed from every shame of life. You are redeemed. You are redeemed from guilt. You are redeemed. You are redeemed from condemnation. He said, those who love the Lord, there is no condemnation for them that love the Lord. Because you love the Lord, nobody can condemn you. Any finger that rises on you, he said, the hand of the enemy has been redeemed. I have redeemed you from the hand of the enemy. Astrad and you are being redeemed. Bar hand, you are being redeemed. Ah. Oh, Nebuchadnezzar hand, you are being redeemed. Principalities and powers hand, you are being redeemed. Images that tells you you can never make it, you are being redeemed. Whether you are black or white, you are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. In him, you are Christ that reigns forever. And because he reigns forever, this is the joy he gave us you. It doesn't matter how far you have been. People who commit and kill were redeemed. Ah. Their name changes ah. from Saul to Paul. Ah. People who are blind are redeemed. Their eyes open. People who are crippled are redeemed. They start walking. People who have no hope, they are hopeless are redeemed and they have hope. How far have you been? Yeah. And you think you will throw the towel. The Lord has redeemed you. Redeem you from every pain. Redeem you from every curse. For we know it is a testimony. Affirmation. For we know it has happened before. For we know it happens in the life of Isaac. For we know it happens in the life of Abraham. For we know it happens in the life of Daniel. For we know it happens in the life of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. For we know it happens in the life of Stephen. For we know it happens in the life of the disciple. For we know it happens in the life of Moses. For we know the nations rise us and the Lord deliver us from the hands of the enemy. Yes. We know, yes. we know, yes. we know. Yes. This is our testimony. Yes. All things yes. we work together for good for them that love the Lord. It will work in your wisdom. It will work in your righteousness. It will work in your sanctification. It will work in your redemption. This is the prophetic word unto you. Hear me as I hear the Lord. You are redeemed. Amen. Oh, let me repeat it. 
This is a prophetic declaration. Hear me as I hear the Lord. You are redeemed. A year by this time, the glory of the Lord will be your portion. A year by this time, what you could not do before, you'll be able to do it. Oh, can I declare you congratulations? You are redeemed. Congratulations, brother. Sister, congratulations. You have the ability to do whatever God wants you to be. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord give you longevity and preservation. May the Lord reveal himself unto you. And may the Lord show his hand upon you because you are justified and you are redeemed.